341. Still plenty of time left to go with a nine point deficit for the Thunder, but they're going to have to change the way they're playing. And, well, that's just not going to do it right there as the Thunder commit a personal foul. On the floor, they call it. Middletown's finest showing Stack Monster respect as he ducks under the camera. Three pointer. And that wasn't tipped. That wasn't tipped. Was that a stack house or a brick house? That, that one was a brick was house. A brick. It was a brick owl house. Ow, it's the one, the only one, letting it all rim out. Oh, it's a brick. Stack house flips it out. Shades of the Commodores, circa 1978, or was it 77? I don't know. I know this, the Thunder miss again. Oh, what a feed. And he gets the roll. And I'm not having any fun anymore. 29 to 18. Stackhouse drives, gets that ball deflected from behind. Signorelli got a hand on that, but no look. And the easy layup. Signorelli's not happy, nor should he be, nor should any of us be. They had Thunder now trail. 31 to 18. Ladies and gentlemen, the field goal was wide right. Kickball. Yeah. Well, the brick house finally got a rest. Put the horse back in the state. Stack cast has it. Over to Buzz. Buzz back to Stack. Stack from three. Stack house can't get it to go. Scarlachuk got the rebound, but his shot was tipped. Long arms of Jared Vuzz deflected that pass. Vuzz with a bounce pass into Stackhouse. Stackhouse got pushed. He waited for the defender to go by and was going to try to lay it in. But he took the contact on the floor. Another on the floor foul. We like to call those the Jennifer Lopez foul on the floor. Good ball movement by the Thunder. They get it inside to Powell. Powell gets it blocked from behind, out of bounds. Stackhouse has it. Over to Scarlet Chu. Back to Stack. Stack over to Vuzz. Vuzz from long range. Thunder can't find the range from downtown. Good defense by Stackhouse, good hustle back by Powell, but to no avail as Powell flips it out of bounds. Good hustle though, even though there's a big lead for the Rock Elite, you like to see the Thunder hustling. That's a three-pointer. Didn't want to see that go down, but it did. 34-18. Yeah, Cross court, Scarlet Chip, 34-18, Stackhouse with a look. Stackhouse drains it, Paul Roto Rooter, that's the name, and he'll knock that bucket down the drain, 34-21. With a deficit like that, perhaps I shouldn't be singing. Inside the 34, you saw that coming, at least I did, and I can't see anything. One minute to go, Thunder Trail by 15, 36-21. Over to Vuzz. Vuzz floats it off the rim. Tipped around. Rocky Elite has it. 45 seconds to go. There's a three for the Rocky Elite. Back rim. 20-33 grabs it. Thunder getting beat badly on the boards right now, and that's part of the problem. I pull back to save my tripod. I don't care about my body, folks. I can handle the contact, but my tripod can't. Stackhouse takes it from Leonard. 36-21, Stackhouse floats it. No good. Might have been deflected, I don't know. Down low, a pass to Purgatory. 3.1 to go, not a lot of time. Stackhouse lets it roll. Stackhouse with 2.5 from half court. He drains it from half court. Oh, reminiscent.
chances of the Morris County Tournament where you banked in a 35-footer to win the game versus Hanover Park, although as exciting as I am, oh, what a play. Did you see that? Behind the head. Nice. But the Thunder Trail, and I'm not happy. So back behind the camera I go where I belong. Halftime, and you see the scoreboard. The Thunder are going to have to play better in the second half to overcome a 36 to 24 deficit. Stay tuned for second half action here on the Thunder Television Network.